after the surgery guys there's a uh, risk na mangyayari so it's very risky doon din sa ano same lang din sila sa radioactive iodine so pareho lang silang may risk Hi everyone <laughs> Welcome to our channel. Anyway, uh, karon nga video guys is papunta kami ngayon sa doctor for my thyroid appointment and we will discuss kung i-radioactive ba ako or surgery. So we will see kung ano sasabihin ng uh, surgeon sa akin. So and then yeah, we're going to the doctor's office now and we'll let you know guys later. A few minutes later. So yan everyone, nandito na po kami ngayon sa doctor's uh, office. I can't help it that I'm a handsome boy, Dan. I was born mm, like this. Chilly a little bit. Oh, no, it's chilly. So oh, baka hindi ako makapag-video sa loob, guys. You know, baka bawal. So later, chilly. update ko kayo pag chilly. natapos chilly. na. And One hour later. We just went to the doctor's office and then... We talk about, you know, about my thyroid and discuss what he's gonna do with it and... But uh, before that is we will go to the restaurant first to eat breakfast and after that is we will explain it to you later and I need my husband to help me and explain. You know, because it's kind of very confused for me a little bit. <laughs> Naintindihan ko naman yung sinasabi ng doktor. Yun bang, um, mahirap lang siyang i explain sa inyo guys in English so ano ayan lang guys so later update ko kayo pagkatapos namin kumain ng breakfast okay nandito na po kami ngayon sa restaurant and yung asman ko is may kinukuha lang dun sa sa sasakyan ayan ayan Man. I know. Five minutes later. So yun yung breakfast namin, guys. Mine is omelet. Everything. Doing husband ko. Ayan. <laughs> oh, kind of guys. Don't you go. 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 Good. Oh my God. Good, good. You should try this. I got mine, man. Just stay away from Stay away from Look, they have my two favorite hot sauces. I can't decide. That. This one's good. This one's good, babe. And this one's good. They're both good. You want to try one? These are both good.
So, ayan. We're at home now, guys. And nandito po ngayon sa loob ng sasakyan. And tapos na po kami kumain ng breakfast. But anyway, um, I think it's time to tell you guys at i-explain ko sa inyo kung ano may yung sinabi ng doktor sa akin based lang din yun sa napagkaintindihan ko, okay? So, first, doon tayo sa medication. If I keep taking natemazole medicine for a long period of time, um, it could affect your blood production in your bones. Kids nyo ba guys? Um, it sounds like uh, your red blood cells. I think it's kind of like that. Yung, baka yun yung meaning ng, ng doctor sa akin. But yes, it sounds kind of like that. <laughs> oh my god. Pasensya naman sa background guys. Na helicopter. So, ayan. Mo na may tabu guys. If I keep taking the metamazole medicine for a long period of time, it could affect your blood production in your bones. So, which your which is your uh, red blood cells? I guess. So, ayan. Gibalik-balik lang na ako kayo. Basig, wala ninyo na saptan ba kay Murang nilabay man ang helicopter. So, <laughs> ayan. So, doon naman tayo sa surgery, guys. Sa napagkaintindihan ko din sa doktor. Um, after the surgery, guys, there's a uh, risk na mangyayari. So, it's very risky. Doon din sa, ano, same lang din sila sa radioactive iodine. So, pareho lang silang may risk. Okay? So, doon tayo sa surgery, guys. So, after your surgery, um, it could affect your vocal cords. So, he has to be careful not to cut some part of your nerve in your throat. Kasi merong napaka-tiny part sa nerve mo na nag-control sa voice natin. I think yun yung pagkaintindihan ko sa kanya. So, that, that's why um, he has to be very careful not to cut some part of it. And then, dapat hindi ma-change yung voice ko after the surgery. And then also, he's gonna give me um, medicine for that if my throat does bother me. So, since na He's a thyroid surgeon, so marami kasi siyang pasyente na takot magkaroon ng ano, baka magka-damage yung vocal cords nila. So, he decided na to do it by mouth. Yan, yan bang i-process nila by mouth, guys? Then, dito na nila i-remove ang goiter sa loob. So, nakakatakot yun, di ba? Isn't it crazy? <laughs> My God! But anyway, sila lang, yung mga patient lang kasi ang mag-decide kung ano yung gusto nilang option. ba? Hindi maka-decide yung surgeon. So, nasa kanila lang yung option. And also, dun naman sa second naman na mangyayari is there's a four glands in your thyroid that controls your calcium. It's like a size of a grain of rice, guys. Super, super, super tiny. So, maliit lang talaga siya, guys. Yan din yung isa. So, if one of them or any of them gets damaged, so you have to take a calcium supplement for life. Kasi baka magkaroon ka ng low calcium. So, it's very dangerous as well. Kaya, yeah, you need to take calcium supplement for life. Diba? So, very risky gid siya. And then, doon naman tayo sa radioactive iodine. Very risky din siya. So, mangyayari yan after that, guys, is um, there's a 7% chance na magkaroon ka ng cancer later in life because your body has been exposed to radiation. Yun yung pagkakaintindi ko sa kanya, guys. Okay, nag-gets nyo ba? Tama din naman sinabi niya na may posibilidad talaga na magkaroon ka ng cancer kasi na, yung body mo is na-exposed sa radiation. Murago ka ng mag-ano, guys, mag-gamit ang mga technology. Dapat dili, tap, pwede magpaduol kay delikado because of radiation, diba? So, ganyan. It's very rare naman. Sinabi niya lang yan sa akin, guys, para malaman ko kung ano yung mangyayari. But it's very rare na mangyayari din yan siya, guys. But there's a chance din talaga na, you know, mangyayari din. So, we just hope na magiging successful yung surgery, guys. And by the way, bago ko makalimutan, hindi na ako nag-video sa loob ng doctor's office kasi nahihiya akong mag-asa kanya kung pwede ba akong mag-video sa loob. And also, I want I wanna give him some privacy, ba? So, baka masasabi niya bakit ako nag-video sa loob. So, nag-focus na lang ako doon sa sinabi ng doctor sa akin. Actually, naintindihan ko naman. But, sad to say, um, it's very hard for me to explain in front of you guys kung ano ba yung dapat i-explain ko. Naintindihan ko siya, pero 
para bang ihirap i-explain sa English. So, yung konti lang yung medyo na explain ko sa inyo ngayon, guys. Kasi, medyo mataas-taas kung i-explain ko pa siya lahat. Baka hindi na maintindihan yung English ko. Baka, dili na magkarima o, so, hindi na hinoon ninyo masabtan, di ba? So, ayok masabtan ninyo ang akong English, guys, ha? So, thank you guys for, you know, sa pagsabot. <laughs> Since na yon nag-ask din ng doktor sa akin kung ano pa talaga yung gusto ko, surgery ba or radioactive iodine. And then, nag-ask ako sa kanya kung ano talaga yung better option. And sabi niya, surgery. So, since may goiter ako guys, it has to be removed. I choose the surgery guys kasi I think that's a better option for me. And uh, I have to stop taking the metamazole after my surgery. So, ibang medicine na yung ibigay niya sa akin, guys, which is safe if I get pregnant dun, based doon sa sinabi ng endocrinologist sa akin. So, ibang medicine na yung ititake ko, guys, for life. Pagdating naman sa cut, guys, sa operation, um, dito is, uh, doon, I think doon lang niya ikikat where the line of your neck is dito and then maliit lang siya guys. Since maliit lang yung goiter ko is maliit lang din yung cut. So, di ba kapag malaki, malaki din yung cut. But, thank God na agapan, diba? Kasi sabi niya, kapag malaki, uh, lalaki din yung mata mo. So, I have Graves' disease as well, guys. Yung Graves' disease is connected po siya sa hyperthyroidism. Just research that on Google, guys. So, he will try his best na mawala yung Graves disease ko after my uh, thyroid removed, diba? And also, I have to take medication to balance my thyroid hormones. So, if I get pregnant, nakabalance yung thyroid hormones ko at hindi magkakaroon ng low thyroid. Kasi, baka may posibilidad na magkaroon ng hypothyroid after the hyperthyroidism. So, imbis na after sa overactive, mahimo na yung underactive. <laughs> Oh my god, nakakaloka mga besh. But anyway, I'm too young to have this, but um, I need to do it para naman kung gustong humaba yung buhay mo, di ba? Kasi kapag hindi mo gawin agad, mas, mas lalong lumala. You know, nagsasabi siya na have, anong tawag niyan, um, na hindi magkaroon ng big scar dito sa, sa neck ko. So, I trust the doctors here naman kasi alam nila yung ginagawa nila dito. So, sabi niya, maliit lang siya na para bang hindi siya halata. But we will see naman talaga kung ano yung mangyayari. And sabi niya, okay lang man daw na mag-ano, mag-carry ako ng heavy things, pero hindi yung sobrang sobrang heavy. Kasi, ano, hindi naman siya maapektuhan dito sa neck mo, guys. Hindi naman siya maapektuhan. Pwede din naman uh, our son kasi mabigat si Ian so pwede naman daw na i-carry ko si Ian but hindi yung look up ka ng look up, ganun baka madamage yung, yung tahe so careful ako na hindi ako mag look up guys so I think the schedule for my surgery guys is mga August or September but before the surgery is I have to do the swab test and I have to buy uh, iodine drops 5 days, I have to take that 5 days five days before my surgery. What else pa yung mga sinasabi niya? Basta, basta i-email ko siya soon. Next month kasi is ma meron kaming ano, flight. So, next month sana but uh, sad to say is hindi hindi ako maka ano, makapunta niyan kasi you know, may pupuntahan kami. Baka hindi ako mag take ng videos during surgery kasi baka bawal and yeah, I need to give them some privacy. So, Ayan, uh, i-update ko lang kayo niyan guys. After that, kaluyan na successful. And, uh, by the way, after the surgery is, I have to stay there at the hospital for 4 hours para mamonitor nila ako. And after that guys, is pwede na akong umuwi in the same day. So, ganun guys. Kapag hindi medyo malala yung thyroid mo, is pwede ka namang umuwi in the same day. Sabi ng uh, doctor sa akin kasi a lot of his patients naman guys na uh, naka-uwi ng same day kasi okay din naman daw yung ano, pakiramdam nila. I-observe ka nila kung kumusta 
ang karamdaman mo after the surgery and then after that is pwede ka nang umuwi and then they will give you medicine so your throat will not bother you ganun ganyan so anyway i think that's all for today guys and thank you so much for watching our vlogs and i hope you have a wonderful day be safe out there and yeah i will update you guys soon okay see you guys next time bye bye